<laughs> What's going on, family? It's Mr. President, First Lady, and the presidential family is back with another book, book, book. You guys know we love every video we bring to you guys, but today's super special because we have two surprises. The first surprise, we want to say congratulations to the winner of the bonus question in one of our last videos. Congratulations for getting that right, and thank you so much for participating. We have another bonus question for you guys, ready to give you guys $25, $50, or $100 for this bonus answer. So the bonus question is, in the mystery room video, we had two safes. The first safe contained a prize, and the second safe in the shape of a dictionary. What was the code? Drop the answers in the comment section, and we're gonna choose a winner to win 25, 50, or 100 bucks off the rip just for you guys participating and being active on our videos. The second surprise is we're gonna go out there, First Lady and I, and we're gonna try to make someone's day by giving back, doing something, whether it's for someone's dog, building them a dog house, or just leaf blowing someone's yard or their property, just because we know they probably can't get around to it. But we just wanna make this video all about giving back. So that's gonna be the surprise. And there is a third surprise. We were gonna tell the kids they were gonna come. What the? Oh my God. What the? Who even makes hot dogs like that? Are you guys kidding us? What is going on in here? This oh is... My. This is unacceptable. Girls, are you guys serious? You guys in here smiling. Look at the room. What is so funny? You know what? I got a surprise for you guys, too. You know what? Yeah, this is not... We can't no, live like this. No, we're not living like this. This is crazy. This is unacceptable, and we're going to do something about this. This is just... Who did this? Adonis, so you guys just let Adonis do whatever he wants, making hot dogs. He put mustard on the... Okay, you know what? Scratch that. Who leaves food out? We're gonna do this. This is what we're gonna do. So, Lexi, you're in charge of this kitchen. You're in charge of cleaning this kitchen. And Ava, you're in charge of cleaning that room. The tornado room. The tornado room. And we're gonna give you guys one hour to deep clean both of these rooms. Like seriously, get on your hands and knees and deep clean this stuff. Get all these stains out, Get clean this up, get the drink away, clean the, counter clean the countertops, everything. Baseboards. We want everything clean. What's your question? Yes, this is the kitchen. This is considered the kitchen. This part and the dining area and the eating area. Just because we have this island separating it does not mean they're two separate rooms. This is one kitchen. I know it's tiny, but it's ours. We don't like to give money for chores only because we like to teach the kids that responsibility does not come with prizes and it doesn't come with rewards. At the end of the day, your responsibility is a responsibility. But since we are on the subject of surprises, I think this will give them an incentive and we'll probably have the most cleanest house we've ever had since moving in. And we make it that they get a friend sleepover. Yeah. I like money. Okay, the winner gets $500 and a friend gets to sleep over. So you get to spend the $500 with the friend. You have to spend the 500 bucks with your friend. After an hour, the person who has the cleanest room, which is the kitchen and the living area, will be allowed to have a sleepover. And with that sleepover, they'll have $500 to spend with their buddies, their friends, whatever they want, but they have to spend it with their friends at the sleepover. They are the judge? So. They gotta tell us who wins. I like that idea, First Lady. Like so like First Lady said, instead of us being biased since we are the parents, you guys tell us as the family that's watching in the comment section, who cleaned who the best? Ava. It's gonna be Ava. Or is it gonna be Lexi? Or Lexi. So let us know. And we'll give a full detailed review of how the kitchen looks after. It's all said and done, and how the room, look at this. 
they have to clean all this. All this, Bunch look at that. Watermarks, look at this. Look at this, they gotta clean all the, oh my God, it's another rat! What is going? This can't be Bella. Oh my goodness. I know Bella doesn't have That's hair. All natural, but where does she get my hair pieces from? That's crazy, I thought that was another rat, babe. I almost had two heart attacks in one video. This is getting out of hand. This is crazy. So first lady and I are going to complete the first portion of this video which we really wanted to go see if anyone had something that we could help them out with or do and then after an hour we're gonna come back and see what the girls did and who's gonna win this $500 and this sleepover party. Woo! Woo! It's gonna be me. Let's go. You guys have officially one hour when this clock starts to get your chores done and win this $500 sleepover party in three, two, one, go. Okay, so First Lady and I are here at the grocery store because we actually went to someone's house thinking that they would actually want the help that we were trying to offer. And my guy, like I knew he would say, he told us that he didn't need it. But he was very grateful that I offered. And that's okay because sometimes, even if it seems like they need your help, they really don't need your help. And that's okay. If they don't need your help, then by golly, leave them alone. So that's what we did. But what we're gonna do is go into the store and we're gonna pick one lucky person to just say, hey, can we buy your groceries and have a good day? That's all. Mm, this is good. Hey, question, is this your car by chance? Um, I know this sounds very random, but are you almost done shopping? Do you need a cart? No, not at all. I actually just, <laughs> I do these random gestures, but today's random gesture is just paying for someone's grocery. So all I really wanna do is pay for their groceries <laughs> and say, have a nice day. And it looked like, you had the right amount have, of groceries. No, I actually, <laughs> I actually have a lot of. <laughs> so you actually have more things to get. So you're not done. All right. So I won't interrupt your shopping. I apologize. Thank you. No problem. A family, as you can see, like wifey just said, it's a little harder to do things for people than we thought. Um, I'm not surprised, but I think we have this fear that things come with strings attached, you know, and it's okay because it's our way of staying cautious. Well, sometimes we miss out on blessings because we are so fearful. And it's okay to be fearful, but not to the extent where you can miss a blessing or an opportunity. So let's just keep that in mind at the same time while respecting people's boundaries and respecting their wishes. So let's go find somebody willing to take a blessing. First lady had a great idea. She suggested that we go inside and see if someone's sitting down and they haven't paid yet and we just pay for their meal and walk out and say, have a nice day. And I think that's an awesome idea. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. Go ahead and pay for these. Uh, Do you want a receipt? Uh, no. Right. Let them get the receipt so they know it was actually paid for. You ladies, thank you. Have a great day. Okay. So we were able to pull it off. We were able to pay for three people's meals, surprise them without, we did it secretly so they don't even know who paid for it. Um, I think it's a little better that way. Less intimidating, I imagine, like wifey like said, um, for the person receiving the blessing or the gift. So we did it that way because we do think it's very important that as we grow on this journey with you guys, even if you don't know us or you meet us in the future or whatever, we do our part just like you guys are doing your part by even investing your time by watching us. We do our part by helping you guys, whether that's helping you guys by giving back, paying for a meal, seeing you in public, paying, um, it paying it forward is basically our goal. The entire process is all about paying it forward and loving what we do at the same time while embracing you guys' love and support. So let's go back to the house and see what the girls have gotten done within this last hour that we've been out here trying to find people to bless. And let's see who's gonna win this $500. So YB and I just returned back to the White House and the kids have about 15 minutes left on their timer, but we're gonna go inside and see exactly what they got done so far. 
Let's go. Okay. Wait, guys, you guys have 15 minutes left. Okay. So I'm not going to look anymore. I'm going to give you guys 15 more minutes while your mother and I go get have some alone time. Lunch. Or lunch. I mean, <laughs> lunch. I mean lunch. Alone time. Of course, she'll take lunch. <laughs> lunch it is. <laughs> First lady and Mr. President gonna grab a quick lunch and then we're gonna end the game and see who wins this $500 sleepover party bonanza. My God. First lady and Mr. President has just come back from lunch even though I'm the only one that was eating. And there's five, four, three, two, one, zero. Sponges down. Brooms down, vacuums down. Ooh, Ava look like she's confident. As we look at the living room, it's gonna be the first one since we're in here. I'm gonna give you guys a tour. So here's the little therapy couch that we sit down and read and talk about our feelings. And then here we have, okay, organized under here. The lawnmowers underneath there, okay. The little desk for Donna and Bella. Ooh, organized sections, little cubicles. Each cubicle is organized by the toy, books, toys, Lego. Wow, she organized them. These are organized. Up to the bar. This used to have alcohol in it, but you know ever since you have kids, that gets substituted for diapers and pinkies and rags and stuff like that. All puzzles in like a bag. Like Not pieces. bad. Puzzles up there, very organized. Spiffy. Oh, vacuum. Okay, family. So this is Ava's job. You guys are gonna have to drop it in the comments if you guys think she did a good job cleaning this area. It looks really nice, but I'm not gonna lie. I see some things like this isn't white, you know, and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know if the floor was swept and wiped and stuff. I see the floor, like there's little spots, little dirty spots on the floor, the spots on the couch, milk spots from the kids. But overall, not bad, but you guys let us know. Rate this room one to 10 on how clean it is. Lexi and the kitchen. So we're gonna turn on these lights and we are, yep. And we are gonna look around. This is really clean. Family, I don't know if it's because of the white, the all white does something to like your house when it's really clean, it makes it look really spiffy. But okay, she did really good. Countertops are clean. Oh. Little dust right here. Not bad. <laughs> Family, you guys have to keep in mind clutter. She has clutter right here. So although everything else is clean, I see clutter. And this is how you really test if someone's clean or not. You move things out the way. So when you move, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Things like this underneath it. Oh, I like so. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So you guys have to deduct points. To be fair. Toaster. Not clean. She still has some stuff up here. No, don't worry, Ava. We're the judges. We know. She has stuff. This could have went in my room. This could have went either in that room. Okay, and this no, up here. Okay, so I won't rate this room. You guys are gonna have to rate it. This is the kitchen. Remember, keep in mind, guys, the entire kitchen. So rate it. You guys see what she did? She even mopped the floor. She swept. She organized. She wiped the bottom of those stools. Ooh. Let us know who you guys think won. Lexi or Ava Flava. And the winner, depending on you guys, are gonna get a $500 slumber party sleepover to do with whatever they want with their friends at the sleepover and enjoy the night. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. We hope to see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys don't like our videos, it's okay because remember, there's always next time. And remember guys, I gave you guys the bonus question in the beginning of this video, so it's imperative that you guys drop the comments for the bonus answer. Drop the bonus answer in the comment section to win yourself $25, $50, or $100 reward. So thanks for tuning in, and like always guys, keep God first.
Mr. President and the presidential family, out.